Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure if I'll post this on my main channel or my second channel. I'm not, or uh, WWJoshDO, DU, uh, DW, I don't know which one I'll post it on. But uh, here's here we go. This is my NVIDIA Shield. I will go to my app drawers. I have a lot of apps installed, but one thing you will not see is Super SU. If I open up a root checker, uh, click on it, verify root, I do not have root access. The beauty of this is, thanks to Helium, you hook your your tablet up to your computer, uh, and then you go down here to developer options and you enable USB debugging. And when you do that, you have to do it each boot, unfortunately, but as long as you don't let the tablet die, and uh, or not the tablet, but the NVIDIA Shield. And as you can see, it lasts quite a bit. And I play a lot, I mean a lot of Vice City. Um, anyway, so I, anyways, I backed up my game save of GTA Vice City. I restored it on my rooted HTC One with CM10.1 on it, and I used Game Killer. And when I did that, I modified my money. I saved it with Helium. I uploaded it to Google Drive, and then on here, I went to Helium, and I just basically went to Restore. I went to Google Drive, and then in my list that pops up here in just a second, uh, I can see GTA Vice City right there. Press on it, press restore, and it restored that game save, even though you saw that my NVIDIA Shield is not rooted at the moment. I will root it ASAP. There's a way to root it right now as of this moment, and I'm going to do a video on it. Unfortunately, you have to unlock your bootloader. Uh, I'm getting warranty through Square Trade with accidental drop protection, so it won't even matter. NVIDIA is not going to, or not NVIDIA, but Square Trade is not going to check to make sure your bootloader is unlocked or locked. And if my daughter decides to play with my NVIDIA Shield and drop it, it's not going to matter. They're not going to be able to check the bootloader anyway, so uh, Square Trade will just replace it. So anyways, uh, what I wanted to go ahead and show you was when I open up GTA Vice City, I'm going to let it run through here real quick. This is going to be a quick video, I promise. Uh, after restoring that game save, after you know giving myself as much money as I wanted on my rooted phone, and then backing it up and restoring it on here, check this out. So on my NVIDIA Shield, I should have, yep, I still have all the money. And I'm going to go ahead and steal a car real quick, and then go and show you that this money is legit. This money is not fake. So I'm going to go ahead and get in this car, and we're going to head over to the ammo shop. And we're going to get some gun, some uh, guns and spend some money. So make sure I'm going the right way. Um, my direction of travel is bad. So I need to whip this thing around and head over this way. Alrighty. Just um, cruising. Let me turn off the radio. And there we go. No radio. I just don't want to get in any trouble because I do have some tracks on here that will get me in trouble as far as like copyright infringement and song ID and stuff so all right here's the ammunition store uh, I'm gonna walk in here I'm gonna go hmm I want this vest right here to give myself some armor I want a buttload of freaking Kruger ammunition I also want to get uh, some shotgun rounds and I'm just tapping A over and over and over and over again, filling up my rounds. And so I'm going to go ahead and just, yeah, I'm spending money like it's nothing. Uh, like I'm a bala, like I'm Flossie Carter. <laughs> I'm spending money like I'm Flossie Carter in Zero Max. So anyways, I'm back out of here. And now I have all this ammo that's mine. I get to keep it. And the game doesn't know that I cheated because I used root. I didn't use like cheat codes, for example. So this is awesome. This is dope. I can go save my game. And yeah, let me let me go save real quick, and I'll end this video. We're four minutes into this. It's a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but eh, what can you do? So there's the save house. One second. This won't take long. We'll go over here. I'm gonna go this way. I can do a little shortcut right here. If I can maneuver around. The Dude, I tried playing this game on my HTC One, and it sucks without a controller. Like, on screen buttons can take a back seat. Can, you know, whatever, that was dumb. Can take a ride in the back seat. So here's my safe house. I'm gonna go save my progress. So that way, when I go to, when I go to like, 
you know, play this game again, all of my stuff will be there. So let's go ahead and go. Oh, I launched the wrong thing. All right, so let's close that out. So, 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 so. Open up Vice City. Almost done here, promise. We're just going to verify that we can start out right where we were with all that money and all the weapons and stuff. And then we're going to be done with this video. This is not a tutorial on how to do this because I'm not going to show you how to cheat. I actually removed all videos that did that. I only had one, but I removed it just because it's not technically like it's frowned upon, I guess. So there we go, all my weapons are there. I can just start blasting people. <laughs> all right, well, that was that. So helium, um, if you want me to do a full tutorial on how to back up and restore stuff without having root on your NVIDIA Shield or your HTC One or any phone, without having root, you can back up and restore stuff as if you're, ooh, I like that thing. Come here, give me your bike. <laughs> if you want me to do a full tutorial, Please let me know. I can I can make it happen. Um, it's pretty simple. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. This is what would Josh do, and I'm out. One last thing. This is my video shield. It is not rooted. I love it.